Welcome to this week's edition of the Spiritual Toolkit. Our word for this week is heal. And let's begin with our breath prayer. We breathe in Jehovah Rapha, and we exhale, place your healing hands on me. Breathe in Jehovah Rapha, breathe out, place your healing hands on me. Jehovah Rapha, place your healing hands on me. Our aromatherapy for this week is allspice. It is an exotic, sweet, spiced aroma. The essential oil evokes the freedom of the outdoors. Think wild, tropical trees and the captivating beauty of the Caribbean islands. The allspice name comes from its similarities to the aroma of a combination of other sweet spices, black pepper, cinnamon, and clove. Our Lectio Divina for this week is from Isaiah 57, 19. Remember, I will read it through three times, and the first time, listen for what shimmers or speaks to you. The second time I read it, Think of where God might be calling you in the, the phrase or the word that you hear. And the third time, just simply dwell in the presence of that word with your time with God. Peace, peace to the far and near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. Peace, peace to the far and near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. Peace, peace to the far and the near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. Our yoga poses this week, which you see, you'll see with Mallory presenting them again, are knees to chest is our pose, and the counter pose is corpse. For knees to chest, our pose this week, lie on your back and hug your knees to your chest. Press your head, shoulders, and tailbone into the floor. Notice how a slight tuck of your chin elongates your spine. Our counter pose this week is corpse. Lie flat on your back. Relax your feet and legs, allowing your arms to rest beside you with palms facing up. Soften your body completely from head to toe. Our reflection questions for this week, which you can just think about, or you can type some thoughts you have um, into your cell phone notes page, or you can journal. These are our questions for this week. Where do you long for God's healing in your life? Where do you need God's healing touch on your physical body? And what would God's healing look like in your life? Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next week with more.